Hi there, my name is David Foster. I'm the Principal BI Consultant here at K3 Panacea. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up publications in SAP Business Objects. First, let me go through what Business, ob uh, business Objects publications are. Let me just move to the next slide. Right. The simplest way to describe publications is as a mail merge for web intelligence reports. You create a source report and a recipients list report, then the publication merges the reports, creating an instance of the source report specific to each recipient. Ima a good example is, imagine your organization has 50 sales representatives, each responsible for a set of accounts. Each week, the sales director wants a report sent to each sales rep showing the new deals they input. How could you do this long? You could do this longhand by creating 50 reports and 50 schedules, but it turns into a maintenance headache when the list of sales reps changes, or worse, the, uh, the weekly report needs to be changed. This kind of situation is what publications are there for. With a publication, you can define a recipient list that will grow and shrink dynamically with your source data, and you only need to maintain a single version of the source report. Hopefully, that gives you an idea of what publications uh, are there for. So let's have a look at creating a new one for ourselves. Right, so if we go into Info View, to save time, I've already created the two input reports. So here we've got we've got publication source, publication recipients. The first report, publication source, is uh, a simple report querying a CRM database for details of opportunities by account. So you can see for Mountain Ranch, for example, we've got um, two opportunities, close, true or false, etc. Very simple data, but it'll do for our requirements. Likewise, publication recipients, it's another simple report, so we've got the account ID, account name for our benefit, the, con uh, the account manager's name, and their email address. As you can see on both reports, share a common account ID field, which, you will later, uh, which we'll use later to match the reports together in the publication. You can also see the e email addresses for the recipients are demo data and won't actually work. Don't worry about this, as I will show you how to run publications in test mode that lets you override the email address. Now we need to create the publication. So what we do is we go new publication. Usual thing, we need a name. So let's call this publication underscore one and we want source documents Wait a moment. right so here we are this is asking us to add our source documents that are going to be involved in the publication this one, one of my favourites, and it is publication source. Okay. That's what to do. Now, this would give us the opportunity to send the reports to enterprise recipients as, long, as well as email. For the purposes of this, we're not going to use this, we're going to use dynamic recipients. So, this is asking us for a source of the recipients. As you can see, you can use a crystal report, a Webby report, or a Desky report. In this case, we want a Webby report. It's actually going to dig down underneath the Webby report to the query, so it has to be the data in the query. So navigate to our publications recipients list. So there she is. Okay. Just updating. Okay. Now it's asking for the data source, query one. There we 
go. So what's the recipient identifier, the account ID, full name, it's full name in this case, and email, in this case is email. And it, now it's asking, for this purposes, yes, we want to use the entire list. You could filter it down at this point, and we'll do that later in the test mode. Right personalization so this is where we're able to make the publication specific to each recipient otherwise they'd all get a copy of the same report and frankly you may as well do that through a schedule with multiple recipients okay publication source uh, we don't want to add any enterprise recipients we do want to do is define this so port field we want is account ID and the dynamic recipient is also account ID. So that set up the join between the two reports. As you can see, if you've got a more complex join, then you can choose multiple fields. Format, you know, you're in familiar territory here, hopefully. Um, we'll send out PDF, I think. destinations so this is where we can choose default enterprise locations individual users inboxes email etc so we're going to do it as email uh, from let's do it from me d foster at k3 panacea panacea dot <laughs> co uk uh, to the si email address yeah, um, opportunities report here we can do various placeholders so so here's here's from one Dear use a full name. Here is your report. That'll do for now. Right. And that's it. So that's how to set up a basic publication. Now to execute the publication, what we're going to do is we're going to run it in test mode just to prove it works and to demonstrate how to test a publication without sending it to everyone actually on the list. So, here we go. This is where we can override the email. So again, I'll just send it to myself. Okay. You can dynamically change these options if you want to. Right. Don't want to use the entire list, or I will. myself so if I pick the first say let's pick the first five okay, okay. so we're now executing so there's an, an instance now running Hopefully we should now see some emails start to arrive. So here are the reports starting to arrive.
So there you go. There's your opportunities reports, one for each account. So if we can just open that. So that's APRA International. If we look at the next report, see the address he has changed. See this is Army Electronics. Great. Okay, now I mean, if you wanted a report where you were looking at showing multiple accounts for a single account manager, then you'd want to be changing from account ID to something like the sales manager ID or the sales manager's name, something like that in your recipient and your source reports. So it's just a matter of picking which key works for you. Okay, well that was publications. Hopefully you found that useful. There we go. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.